Moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. beautiful to hear Denise's voice. It's inspiring for me and it fills my heart with love. She has something special about her voice. And luckily she's doing her own podcast now. Look her up, Denise Hansard. And I'm so happy we started together this vision of creating a podcast, especially this Moving to Oneness podcast that is here for you. And so fitting that it inspires me to speak to you about this today because in Germany where I'm sitting it is the 3rd of October a Sunday and it's a holiday in Germany of the unification of East Germany and West Germany which took place in 1990 and then on top of it we have beautiful weather with some clouds and wind and rain and then sunshine. And the weather is even unifying to create this beautiful planet for us. I'll talk about this on our show today. So welcome, I'm Maileen Elke, your host to the Moving to Oneness podcast. Yeah, let's stay with the weather for a second, right? If we have all these elements playing with each other, we're energized, we're calmed, we're nourished. And the same for our land. Because there's another day that is happening today. It is uh, Erntedankfest, which is also the 1st October of... No, other way around. <laughs> it's the first weekend the first Sunday of October, it was, I think, in the 70s, the church gave that date a day. And, you know, we but do have Oktoberfest. It's when uh, the harvest comes in. But this is also an ancient day where, in the Middle Ages already, the people that were the tenants of the land, the farmers, gave the harvest over to the owner, to the landlord. That's where the word Lord comes from, right? The landlord. We still use that in English when you rent. Or the vocabulary of real estate. Yeah, and, and a fun thing is, they created then also out of wheat, a wreath, not a wreath, a crown, and you can see that symbols a lot in uh, churches, old uh, buildings of townships, right? This was the symbol of gratitude. In a way, giving over, similar to the American Thanksgiving, which is in November, end of November. We in Germany have all these celebrations of harvest, around different times here in my village this weekend I almost forgot <laughs> I live in Neunkirchen am Brand close to Nuremberg a small town Franconian a town in Bavaria now that's a whole other story of unification that topic is going to stay throughout the show today and people of the township come together to celebrate and you have this um, here they call it caravan. You have this also very, very famous Oktoberfest in Munich. And even when I lived in the States, there were many places that had Oktoberfest where they had typical homes from southern Germany, Bavaria, or further west, Baden Württemberg, you know, with those typical paintings on the walls. You know, you can see as in every country. There is a difference of the region also in the architecture. 
So this is really a vibrant, vibrant, vibrant day. So funny, I'm also a tenant. I do have also to give over something to a landlord and I am very happy. I'm very thankful that my landlord said yes to me to be the tenant of him because I fell in love with his house, the garden and the terrace and especially this living room. And I also record in this living room because I can look outside on two sides. I have a three huge windows that go from almost the ceiling down to the floor and facing south so I see the sun I see the plants and his garden is overgrown a little wild looking I love that because it's already so old and to the west I look out and I have these big trees that anchor I'm someone I always connect very deeply with the trees so that is my setting so I'm going to give thanks to that Ooh, but there's so much more <laughs> yeah you know if you think about it, you give gratitude, it is, there is an exchange happening, right? There is the coming together, there is a acknowledgement of the other, and it doesn't have to be only a human, a person. It is your family, right? Give thanks to your family of gratitude, but also to nature. And so that's why this crown of wreaths of wheat has been created, right? So we are nourished. But we're nourished also by communication. We're nourished by embrace. We're nourished by looking at beauty of the landscape. We're nourished by the sunshine, uh, the water, etc., etc. And again, there's the sun shining right now. That's always like a big thank you <laughs> for me. And I can feel a thank you of the cosmos of the planet also toward me so i invite you feel also because your role here on this planet at this time is of a grand importance that you receive today the gratitude of the land the gratitude of the skies toward you and the gratitude of others to you this month of October, there is also more and more this exchange happening really globally, right? As we acknowledge ourselves, we come together, we help each other grow, we help each other unfold, we see each other, we learn about each other's cultures, etc., etc., even of the different ways we live, act, talk feel right I, I just love that I just love that and also for this day 3rd October you know that is when it's a politic day right when there was a signing over of the eastern German part to be unified with the western part but the big change that happened to make this happen that day of 3rd of October was really a year prior in November the 9th in 1989. Wow, <laughs> that was the year I left Germany to go to the US to study at that time veterinary medicine. And in the summer, just before I left, I can remember I was sitting at home my mother had her cousin over from East Germany. For the first time she has seen her cousin, she, didn't see, she escaped. 61. Three days after her 18th birthday. She did try it before, but then she learned when she had already escaped. She would have been sent back when she was in the West, because she was underage, right? Not 18 yet. So she went back and waited. You have to think about that. You know, you have escaped a strong, mean regime. And then you go over again. Also, kudos to my mother for her strength. And which I'm lucky she... I, I spoke to you about, you know, that she has cancer now. And somehow this cancer 
revitalized her oomph, her fight to live and the way she wants to live, the way she wants. As the cosmos is now supporting all of us to live the way we want to live, the way we love to live, right? And love to be. So on that day, you know, my mother, we had always her grand aunt over, or was it my great aunt? Yeah, she was always able to come in all those years when I grew up. Tante Elsa, Aunt Elsa. So this was such a special, special day <laughs> because Tante Elsa, who was already um, retired, came with her daughter, her husband, and the daughter of them. So the daughter was the young, end of her 20s, if I remember the time correctly, with her husband as well. So luckily we had three generations. This was new and... You know, you couldn't have so many visitors come over because they were afraid people would not go back into the DDR to Eastern Germany or East Germany, it was called only. And as a, a token or, or what is the word? I don't know what the word is, but they had to leave something that was strong enough to pull them back into the country. And that was from Tante Elsa, so the great grandchild, which at that time was only two years old. So they had to leave that in the day to air so that they could go as a larger family over to the West. Yeah, you have to think about that. <laughs> and to make sure that they would come back. What they didn't know, that my mom, who had helped her other two sisters come over and her parents was already creating at that day. I can remember there was a certain vibrancy if you were making plans how to escape. And they, in German, there's a beautiful Schmieden, right? Like the blacksmith, he schmieds or he make a sword. They were creating this new plan to go back and then how to leave the country. It was already at that time much easier. You had to go, I think, through some other countries. I can't remember. I'm not going to go into it at this moment, but on, on the eastern side, East Bloc countries. And it was easier to get out then. So I left then for the US on my own. And then once I was there, suddenly... One day I was walking around and I could see big sheets were hanging out of windows and something speaking about that the wall fell in Berlin. So the wall fell, The uh, you know more about that history, you can look it up, but they broke that um, wall that separated in Berlin these two sides that they built up in 1961 and they couldn't hold back a people. There was a huge mass of people that wanted freedom, that wanted unity of having been separated from family members more or less overnight, right? Suddenly they just started building that wall, building fences and those fences were from North Germany all the way to the South so no one would go over that a border and if you did try to go over that border you were shot or imprisoned if you weren't shot so as a, a teenager I, I did a few talks about that because I f found it so fascinating how people were creative and what the driver was for them to look at death to be free so this is also maybe a day to recollect and be glad grateful or provide gratitude to that you're living and i hope also when you hear this in a country that you feel free and if not sending you a lot of powerful energy 
to make the best that you are safe where you live. And maybe as things are happening, energies are supporting the downfall of many borders, political borders, religious borders, that we can, as people, roam this planet, this earth, this beautiful land again. To be unified, to learn about each other again, right? This is exactly it. That's a rough topic, sorry, today. But that happens if you tune into the energies and as we are celebrating, being together and unifying is to set intention. Set the intent already to unify any everything in yourself, anything and everything with others. Humans, nature, animals, right? And seeing that if each is free and we see each other's beauty there's a whole new oof, uh, you can feel it I bet creativity eh, feeling knowing yeah as humans <laughs> What are we doing? But exactly this, by the unifying, looking at being whole, being one, is this topic of this podcast. This is why I am speaking to you every week, all oh, these hours of editing and transcribing, to set this intention, to over and over give this impulse, this pulse of peace, this pulse of unity, this pulse of reunification, this pulse of gratitude for living and being alive. So this aliveliness to bring that into everyone, into everything. You know, as, as humans that we feel, we get that skip back and... There's too much of the other way, you know, too many are numbed and help others to unnumb. Step by step, and it happens. You can observe yourself, feel into it. What are you already now doing a little different? How are you responding to your signals of your own body, to the signals of your own thoughts, to the signals of what others are saying? Yeah. Yeah. This is the best start. How do you step onto this ground, this earth? How do you leave it? How do you treat it? How do you treat yourself? What do you put in your mouth? Do you give yourself rest? Do you treat any animal that you maybe eat well or you get a source where you know it's treated much, much better than somewhere else? You have the power of change. You have the power monetary through education, through speaking up. Maybe you're a farmer yourself. Can you slowly start changing into being maybe more organic? The list is long. If you're just a gardener at home, if you have a yard, maybe mow less, right? So everything can grow a little bit more wilder. If you're someone who has been very judgmental you're probably not listening anyway <laughs> yeah but help through education uh, people that are maybe judgmental how things should be you know the neighbor how is the ground of the neighbor and then we try to adapt to to the neighbor's expectations to someone else's expectations speak with them educate them and see what other ways and uh, start a communication. Really, unification is the opening up, the 
communication about topics that we've been a little shy about, that we thought could be a little igniting. <laughs> Maybe that's why you held back a little bit. Open up, open up. I invite you to open up. Reconnect to yourself. Reconnect to nature. Reconnect to others, to your neighbor. And then we also see all the others that left their countries in different eyes. What they went through. What we can provide. Right? We have to. We don't have to. It'll be beautiful if you feel drawn, if I feel drawn, if others feel drawn to be there for each other. Going back to the unification of the east and west of Germany, right? So many had been separated and this bringing people together, a family, is important for children. So, and for others too, and even for the elder, right? Because the stories can be changed. There is a feeling, there is something about family, a clan, a tribe, an understanding of each other and a being there for each other, right? Maybe also concentrate on reunifying your family in the smaller sense, in the larger sense, in the huger sense. <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming to the Americans. So I don't know all the other countries in the world. That'll be a fascinating topic to research for myself. Yeah. To get this separation and what separated you. Take a look what is the source of the separation, what walls were built up for you to uh, be separated. Even maybe your walls to yourself were separated. A fence. Do you even punish yourself if you try to take down those walls, to take down that fence? Do you lock yourself in again? Or you're not willing to talk about it. I mean, it was also on the West, right? But over and over, people didn't give up. There were many countries seeing that it was not right, that they did that one choice. Of just creating with a line. I think anyway, I, you know, as a landscape architect, I saw a lot of maps. <laughs> we created a lot of lines. And now, later as a healer, I would just love to solve all our borders in this world. They were set by whom? Some guy is playing Risiko. I don't know if you know the game Risiko or Risk. Maybe it's called somewhere else. Always cutting through towns. I was just watching a movie where a German... And even we don't even own land, but it was a German-Italian borders that were made right people had to change their names the same thing was happening in india invaders i call them doesn't matter what time period there were always invaders making people change their names even when you went into the u.s people had to change their names and so much is really with our name was an identity so, so many people had to take on a new identity that wasn't theirs. So even there, there was no unity with oneself. Right? Going back, sorry, to India. Let's say a, a friend of mine told me a few generations back, they had to use a French name and not a name. It was an old Sanskrit name, right? But then even you go centuries and centuries and centuries back and centuries and centuries and I think we can go thousands and thousands and thousands years back. This has happened over and over and over. So my wish, which is more than a wish, because I'm actively setting intention, light, think about this a lot, and you know, your thought and your words create change. 
And if many of us think how and find ways to dissolve separation for each other within ourselves on this world, that we can move freely again. And that on top of it, it's also that the animals can move <laughs> freely again. Right? Even they have been separated. We separate by streets that are just laid out. Streets are not falling energy lines, pathways, right? That we can follow again the energy lines of this earth. That we can move from one beautiful sacred site on this earth to the next one. I may be called an idealist, but I feel it's possible. And I feel it's coming. I should say, I know it's coming. Because you cannot hold people. You can for a while use guns and you can use power and, and strength and pain. And even death. To hold people back. To make them small. But not for a long time. And there's suddenly a moment. It may take a day, a week, a year. 10 years, 100 years, thousands of years, but suddenly people, as we now, after 8,000 years, we feel something went wrong. We're isolated, we're separated, pulled apart. Where is our community? So let's unify your family, community at large, cultures at large, countries at large, by being who you are by me being who I am and sending out your love, your light, love to everything existing, to everything existing. And that's a movement, right? Like even the name of this podcast, moving, exploring. And there's not one right way or wrong way and we all have to do the same way. We all come with our a little gift, talent, and work from all different sides. Sides. <laughs> Speaking sometimes. To create this beautiful tapestry. And I'm not going to even use the word tapestry because tapestry, again, is too rigid. It has criss -cross, rigid crisscross. Like a meadow with many, many, many different uh, species that are growing and creating these fluid energy lines, this swale, right? Or swishes like a brush strokes with a beautiful calligraphy brush or watercolor brush. So everything can develop the, uh, the community, the being with each other that it can naturally unfold in combination with nature, with the cosmos, with you, with me, with all of us. Ah, this is just beautiful. See? <laughs> celebrating, celebrating unity. I celebrate you. And I have not sung a song yet for this. Well, let's do this. Gratitude for unity. Gratitude of being together. Gratitude of not being alone. Gratitude to seeing more and more that we're not alone. that we're being listened to, that you listen to others. We recognize each other. We acknowledge the differences and the similarities that are within us. And again, the children outside, I hear them. They've been playing and laughing all day. They come from different cultures. They live next to each other. And they don't care about that. They see the warmth of each other. They see the smiles of each other. They feed each other's, of each other's 
fun, purity, right? So unity is also being pure and seeing each other's purity and love and light. Mayo, mayo ne, mo maya na umba un, o mana yo ne un, patawa, a mana yo ne tu, mana na yo tu, mama yo po tao, mo ma unda a kula na, o na a pokutuko na sa, na to look. A bumbe, a wotu te kal, a nyo munda, nyo tu baba ta ta nda ula chaka nda ta bata kotu da ta 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 Bamba boom da lindo o kataka se la peka tun yon cha nda le ko bolun do dumbo uwa e dar kachako indo u u u u u e ye na ne ma mama u na la chaka pa bon do 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 ba da in u na che da le te do ba ma na na chuk do ba da do chuk do bo da da ka do bo chuk e na ma ba boom bo din ta. Ooh, to go to the catala, let the chick ooh ooh. Ah, but da, but do but in chick down the tomb, but that the dear la li chata. The dear chap, the dear chap, boom, 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 boom. Oh, I love that. And as I was singing, I remember when I was, uh, I did a few talks and uh, singing for the uh, Unity Week. It was in June, and I think on my YouTube station, Mylin Elke, M E I L I N E H L K E, I have the major one where there are a lot of songs singing and celebrating a unity. I'll I link to that in the show show notes. Oh, thank you for being here, for listening, for desiring the change in this world to be to move into our natural state so we can be who we are all of you are doing that and i thank you i'm happy always to unify with you <laughs> you all can reach me easily on our facebook group moving to oneness email me mylene at moving to oneness i mean the list is long and let me know more about you, who you are, and share maybe on this podcast, if you feel like it, who you are and what you're bringing to the world to move all of us into our oneness so we can celebrate and be in gratitude of having each other for fun, for celebration and for growth. So thank you, everyone. I'm Mylene Elke, your host of the Moving to Wonders podcast and I wish you a wonderful October. Bye-bye.